Hello everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how to create a command block setup that adds a feature to the game that drops a player skull when they are killed by another player. This player skull is the head block which you can see in the creative menu displaying the Steve skin or some of the hostile mobs from the game. Using commands a player skin can be displayed on the skull and using the command blocks we can build a setup to detect when a player is killed and summon the player skull item in the location that they died. It is a very cool contraption that can make life on a server a lot more fun if you're into PvP. In this tutorial I'm going to be going over a lot of commands, so all of them are going to be listed in the description box down below so you can copy them into your world which is going to make things a lot easier. Now some of those commands are going to be numbered as well and this is because they're going to go into command blocks. You can see I've numbered these ones so you can make sure you get them in the right place. Now these blocks right here they need to be built in the spawn chunks and if you don't know what the spawn chunks are they're a part of the world that are always loaded and guess what if this thing isn't loaded then it's not going to work. So if you don't know how to find your spawn chunks there's going to be a link to a video in the description box that will help you do that. Uh, so as well as that you're also going to probably want to set a couple of game rules to false that's log admin commands and command block output. If these are not set to false then they're going to spam your game chat and also your server chat as well so setting them to false is a good idea because this thing runs 20 times a second. Before you place down any command blocks in your world there are four commands you need to enter into the chat to set this thing up and get it ready to work. They're in these command blocks down here the first one is an objective called death and this is for when you are killed by team white. Now that's not the name of the team that is the color of the team that will become important in a moment. The next one is an objective called kill this is for the stat player kills to detect when someone has killed. The next one is setting up a team you can see we're adding one called players you can obviously change the name of that but players makes uh, a lot of sense because it's going to have all the players on your server and then here we have an option to change the team's color to white. Now this is important because as I said earlier it detects it by the color of the team and not the name of the team. So if you wanted the team to have a different color like blue for example then it would need to be blue here and it would need to be blue there as well and also this will make the name tag that appears above your head blue as well. So setting it to white by default will make it look like the vanilla game. Now we're going to build the command block magic that will drop the player skulls and you might want to build this all the way down at bedrock level surrounded by bedrock so no one can tamper with it uh, but let's move on to how we build it. We want to start off by setting up the fill clock so command block number one remember these go from bottom to top and left to right so this is one half of the fill clock and you can get that command from the description box as well as this one and once you've done that you just need to put a redstone block in the middle of it and then you'll set off the fill clock. So the next one right here, the third command block, is going to join any player that isn't on the team we set up a moment ago uh, into that team. So it's going to find them by this right here, team equals blank. When it's blank it's just going to find any player that's not on a team and it'll put it onto the one that we've specified. So then if we go up to the fourth command block, this one is going to stop a player who's killed themselves from getting a skull. So if you want players to be able to farm themselves for skulls then just skip this command block but otherwise what it's going to do is it's going to detect when they have died and killed at the exact same time. And remember it does that 20 times a second so it's incredibly precise. It will detect when a player's killed themselves and for that reason it won't give a skull skull. So if we go on to the next bit, this is the command block that's going to give a player a skull and for every player that you have on your server you're going to need an individual command block. So what you want to do is take the command, copy it in and where it says name right here it says name ease. That's where you want to put the name of your player because it's going to be executing a command at that player who has just died and the command it's going to execute is summon. So it's going to summon the item and it will appear where they died and so skull owner equals ease you want to change that to the name of your player. So for every player on your server you need to have a command block so there's one for ease there's one for me as well and if you've got a lot of players then you're going to need to extend your fill clock. So the way to do that is to come back to the first one you just want to change this number right here Let's do it to four so we don't destroy Ease's head and uh, four at the top as well and that's simply going to extend the fill clock over to here. So that way you can fit in more command blocks for each of the players and then the last two are simply going to reset the scores after this cycle has been run because remember this happens 20 times a second going from uh, bottom to top and left to right. So the seventh command is simply going to reset the death score and the eighth command is going to reset the kill score. Now this one isn't needed if you want players to be able to kill themselves so you can skip that one if you want them to be able to do that. 
And that is everything you need to know to build this contraption, which once again was made by my buddy Ease for the Hermitcraft server. Be sure to go and check out Ease's channel. As you can see, he is a wizard with the command blocks, and he's always coming up with lots of cool uses for them. But that's it for this video. All of the commands are in the description box as well as the video on how to find your spawn chunks. So if you enjoyed the tutorial, please do hit the like button. And as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.